Hello everyone and welcome. This week's video I will be explaining nitrogen filled tires. Now you probably hear people saying, oh my tires are filled with nitrogen or the GTR is awesome because it fills its tires with nitrogen. Well, what's, what's the reasoning behind that and is there really any benefit from it? So, I've got two tires here, we're just going to go over some of the facts. So if you have an air filled tire, 78% of that air is nitrogen. So you're already almost filling your tire with nitrogen. 21% will be oxygen and 1% will be everything else. Argon, uh, water vapor, uh, carbon dioxide, things like that. So if you have a nitrogen filled tire, you just have 100% dry nitrogen. I say dry because there's no water vapor in there, no uh, moisture. Uh, and you get a sweet little green uh, cap for your little air uh, plug, which is, which is a nice uh, added benefit. Anyways, so some other facts. O2, oxygen, an oxygen molecule is smaller than an N2 molecule, a nitrogen molecule, even though it weighs more. With the added uh, proton and neutron, uh, what happens is it has a stronger pull on the electrons, so it is actually a, a small, a very minute amount difference, but it is actually smaller. I mean, it's millionths of a uh, millimeter or something like that. I mean, it's a, it's a very small number. But, this allows it to permeate through rubber more quickly. So, what that means is, one-fifth of your tire has a uh, substance, a, a air molecule, that can permeate through the tires more easily than nitrogen. So, honestly, I don't really think it's that big of a deal. Um, I don't have problems with my own, where I have to go out, you know, every month and reinflate my tires because all the oxygen has depleted. Um, so I don't really think that's uh, the main advantage point. Um, so let's go over the pros of what that is. So less loss of pressure. I don't really consider that to be too important. Uh, my tires hold up just fine with uh, just typical air in them. Uh, I don't have the green cap, but you know, it's something I was willing to give up. Uh, less pressure change with temperature change. This is the big one. So, because uh, air has water vapor in it, and say it's a high humidity when you're pumping your tires, well, you put a lot of water vapor in your tires. Well, water vapor has a significant impact on pressure with temperature changes. So, what I'm saying there is, say you heat up your tires. Say you're at the racetrack, and you're heating up your tires. Your tires are heating up the air inside of the tires, and that air has water vapor in it, so it expands a lot. So, the tire pressure increases, and consequently you have less grip because your tires are overinflated. So that would be a negative effect and I think that is the main reason why you would want to use nitrogen, uh, pure nitrogen rather than air. Uh, and one other thing, uh, I've heard people mentioning corrosion uh, because you've got water vapor inside your tire and it's you know touching your uh, wheels then you can you can have corrosion. Um, I've got a 13 year old car, its wheels are still on it and they're in great shape. I never hear of people going to the shop because their wheels have rusted all the way through. So I don't really think corrosion is a big deal, I don't think loss of uh, pressure is the big deal. I think it's the, the less pressure change with temperature change and that's because of the water vapor inside of it. So if you were to put dry air in your tires, really I don't think there'd be much difference between that and uh, nitrogen. So the negative side of nitrogen great, you don't have the pressure changes like you do with air, but you have to pay more money. I mean, I hear places 5 to 30 bucks just to fill each tire. I mean, it could be less than 30 bucks is high, obviously, but at least 5 bucks, and I mean, that's still significant where you can buy a bike pump for 15 bucks and fill up all four of your tires. So that's the deal with nitrogen-filled tires. Personally, I don't think it's, it's that great, but if you are going to be on a racetrack and doing something crazy, uh, then you may want nitrogen so that you don't have an increase in pressure and then less grip.